Montessori Academy. This is Emily and my lovely assistant Zoe. So we've missed all of you very much and I just wanted to keep everybody creative and we've got stuff laying around that I'm sure lots of you have. So grab your empty water bottles and we are going to make our own Dale Chihuly chandelier. Really simple. If you have paint, you're going to want to take the label off first and then you're going to want to paint your bottles. If you do not have any paint, that's okay too. We can make a clear plastic chandelier. So we're going to take the labels off. together. You want to get about at least 10 bottles cut this way before you start tying them all together and you can arrange them in whatever way you would like. All right, after you have all of your bottles cut, simply remove the lid and then you can place the string in here. So it's going to go through the mouth and then you're gonna grab your second bottle and then again, feed it through. I would recommend only putting about two to three bottles together at a time and tie. Because if you get too many and they come undone and it's all with one knot, then you're gonna lose your whole chandelier. So as you can see, we tied all the water bottles together and then you can hang it from something in your backyard and now we have a beautiful recycled art piece that anybody can do at home. Welcome back everybody. So we have some leftover pieces from our water bottles, the bottoms that we cut off and also the lids. And these can also be used to make a three dimensional piece of artwork. And again, if you have paint or house paint or you can use watercolor, any of that stuff, and you can either, if you have watercolor, I would recommend doing watercolor on the paper or canvas that you're gonna glue it onto. And if you have regular paint, I would think about painting the bottoms and the lids. And you can arrange them on your piece of paper and glue them down. And you can make a pattern or you can cut them. And this kind of makes it have more of like a flowery petal look. And just simply glue everything down and if you're gonna paint make sure you paint these before they get glued down and make sure you let them dry and then you have another work of art that you can make <laughs> 